All right, let's keep this rolling. Part two of explosive impact. This time we're looking at the water types and the lightning types in this set. And let's start with Slowkeen here. Now Slowkeen has an interesting first attack, which could come in handy. Um, Slowkeen has always been known to kind of disrupt your opponent. And that continues with this. So it's got an attack called Memory Loss. Your opponent reveals their hand. You choose one card and put it into the Lost Zone. That could become extremely important because if you choose a card that's going to slow down your opponent drastically, then you could essentially just win the game for yourself. I mean, it could be something important like a basic Pokemon that evolves, like let's say a Zorua or maybe a Ralts or um, a Rowlet or something, or maybe a special energy card. Maybe it's their one, uh, you know, beast energy uh, or maybe a specific Prism card that they, can, they know they can't rely on anymore. This, it's extremely important. It really is. Uh, Slowking, it's a very first good attack. Um, if you're going first you know you could get it set up on your next turn you know you could start you know banishing cards in the lost zone i think it's really good um the attack to back it up 60 damage 20 more for each number attached to your opponent's active pokemon not bad um it's i just don't i don't think it's worth attacking with i think it's just worth putting out in the front and start kind of disrupting your opponent as much as you possibly can until you get set up on your board. So Slowkeen's definitely one uh, to keep an eye out for. Deli Bird, choose any number of your bench Pokemon without any Pokemon tools attached to them. Search your deck for up to that many Pokemon tool cards and attach one to each of the chosen Pokemon. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I guess you could start putting choice bands and escape boards okay the thing is i'm having problems with that i guess the only reason i would see doing that is maybe to start forcing your opponent to use field blower i don't know why you would want all of your tool cards already set out unless of course maybe you're trying to thin out your deck mm, it's an interesting it's an interesting attack that i think doesn't have a use for at the time right now is it something i want to keep on my radar probably not uh, i think this is going to be more for like starter decks or rogue decks or something but nothing really worth highlighting in a major deck but i could be wrong Maybe you guys might find some use for it. Let me know. But as of right now, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of Deli Bird. Mantine. If this Pokemon has any attached to it, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. But it only does 100 damage. And that's it. So we're going to move on. But I like the art. It's sick. Okay. Going on to finally. Finally. Suicune. Suicune, you did it. You made it to the big time. Suicune has a GX, ladies and gentlemen finally has a noteworthy gx card however there's not many notes to take on it it's an it's a weird one because suicune really should be a powerful card or just a, it's a powerful pokemon overall i mean there's a whole game based around suicune crystal pokemon crystal but the attacks and the ability are just kind of meh and weird so the ability is once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your hand, into your deck. Okay, so you could save your Suicune from being attacked. I mean, it's essentially Greninja GX's ability. Uh, well, part of the attack, I'm sorry, not ability, but part of the attack. So, cause that way you kind of like prevent your Greninja from being KO'd. Uh, or you could, I guess, have it as a retreater. That's one way of thinking it, I guess, but it's, I don't know, it's just underwhelming. And then it's got two attacks, both need wa two water energies and colors, Cure Stream, 120 damage, during your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon attacks do 30 less damage. Okay, you essentially get 210 HP. Uh, two shotting, okay, good for you. It's just okay. Um... I'm not, I don't even know how to pronounce this GX attack. Brinsile, Brin, Brinsil, uh, 150 damage, 180 with choice band. Switch your Pokemon, one year bench Pokemon. Okay. I'm still not seeing it. 
maybe, ooh, maybe if you switch over a Shuckle GX to stall some more. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Suicune GX is an okay card. I love the art behind it. He looks awesome. But it's it's not as great as, as I think most of us were probably hoping to be. It's just okay. And I think it's more of a tech than an actual, like, main attacker. Which is a little sad. But, hey, at least Suicune finally got a GX card. L hoping to see the full art and the Rainbow Rare soon to see what those look like. Alright, let's see. We got Toxapet coming back. 50 damage if your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned. This attack does 50 da damage times the number of damage counters on it. Ooh. Interesting. So if your opponent is poisoned, right? You poison them. That's 10 into their turn. 10 into your turn. That's 2. That's 2 damage counters. 50 times that's 100. 100 attack for 2 water energy. But if you have, let's say... But see, that's the thing. It, it's not damage counters by poison. It's just poison. So you can essentially do a few rounds of, of uh, Tapu Koko and just build up all this damage counter. So if your opponent has four damage counters, that's 200 for two water energy as long as it's poison. See, the thing about poison is not a huge issue because we have, what, Salazzle to just go ahead and poison it? That's fine. Yeah, I like this. And you can even do more combos with that. Because if you poison and burn, that's 30 more. Toxapex, you might have something going for you. You might have be a, a quite a bit of a rogue deck. I like the Toxapex. It might be just because I'm biased towards water Pokemon. Let me see the art first. Art's a little scary. I dig the, the, the whole environment, though. The eyes are just creeping me out. Everything else is awesome. But yeah, I like this card. The 120 HP is not ideal. But I, I think we should definitely keep an eye on this card. Yeah, for sure. All right. Chincha Lantern. Lantern, what do you have? Choose up to four item cards from your discard pile. Show them to your opponent and then shuffle them to your deck. Item recovery. Okay. On a stage one, eh, with 110 HP, you're just basically using it for a one-time recovery. It's a little weird, but it's probably necessary since we don't have ways to recover items. Uh, we have ways to recover Pokemon and now energies, but not items except for GX attacks. So it might be handy, might be worth the tech. I don't think it's going to see as much play as I think people will allow it to, though. All right, and we got Mareep. Um, let's see, this is, where's the Ampharos? There it is. Invisible Flash. Once during your turn, you may put two lightning energy from your hand in the Lost Zone. If you do, leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. That's pretty neat. Two lightning energy, though. Hmm. I don't know if you can risk having lightning energy in the Lost Zone. But wait. We do have a basic that works with it. There is a Raikou in this set. 30 damage for lightning and a colorless. If you have any lightning energy in the Lost Zone, this attack does 90 more damage. Okay, so you could pr paralyze for one turn and then hit hard with a Raikou on the next. Not bad. Not bad. I dig the uh, combo to it, but I don't know if we really need to be put, put putting two in the Lost Zone. That's, that's energy you can't recover. So you essentially would just be hitting with Raikou from the rest of the game. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, but maybe it could work we'll see and that's gonna be it that's the water and the lightning types next up would be psychic and i believe fighting yep psychic and fighting and yeah we'll just leave it at that so my biggest highlight here hmm, i really would like for it to be the suicune but honestly i'm more of a fan of this toxapex i'm sorry i like the toxapex more than a suicune that's just me you guys can tell me if i'm wrong but anyway, that's going to be it. Please like, subscribe, comment, do what you got to do. I'll see you for part three next time. Bye, guys.